What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be going over this little website called simplywall.street. Now this is a really cool website that I found and by me, I mean my boy Eamon Dow from Dow Stock Talk. Check out his channel. Uh, I watched a video and he was using this and I thought, that is awesome. Why is he holding out on me? But let's jump on the computer. This is simplywall.street um, and we're going to be reviewing one of their plans, the investor plan. And not only just the plan, but also the, uh, the site itself. Because I think this is really cool. This is pretty much like an investment tool on training wheels. Like it just walks you through it, makes it very easy. If you are someone that doesn't know how to invest or you're just getting started, I think this is really neat. So you see there's three plans. There's learner plan, investor plan, and professional plan. Uh, right now I'm on the 14 day free trial. So what do I get? Um, I get unlimited company reports, unlimited companies per portfolio. Total portfolios is unlimited. I get a stock screener and stock idea view. And it's $80, that's insane. $80 over 12, you know, over a whole year. What is that? That's, uh, that's less than $8 a month. That is amazing, that price. Um, I'm, I'm not saying it's the best place to uh, put your money when it comes to a tool, but so far, this is one of the cheapest. I think this is amazing. But uh, let's see if it's really worth it. We're going to go back to the home screen. And this is your dashboard, home screen, whatever you want to call it. And let's see what is on here. So it shows my portfolio, right? My 14 holdings. I just put in the companies that I had. Um, let's see. we got market industries. Kind of goes over that. This is pretty cool. Upcoming earnings. So it shows you. Here's all the earnings that's upcoming. So I know, okay, Square and NVIDIA into it and Intel are coming up and when they are out of my portfolio. Uh, some dividend payments are coming up in November. So it's really nice how it lays it out like that. So you don't need to be going through your brokerage account figuring out, okay, when am I getting paid from this company or that company and you may not know what to click on. It's all right here. Um, then we got recently viewed. All right, it just shows my history of what I was looking up. Um, my updates, just some news with all of the stocks, pretty much what you'll see in any platform. You'll just get the news from your stocks, obviously. Um, and let's see over here, we got our top gainers over the past seven days, one month, one year, three years. Let's see what, what's been up the most. ZYXY, never heard of it. AMD is up. Wow. 3,400%. And it looks like you could go through all of the different countries as well. Um, then what do you got? Your worst top industries, worst industries, all your top losers. So, you know, pretty broad what you're going to get everywhere. But here's what's pretty cool. Let's go into stocks and let's search a stock, right? First off, it lays out like this, which I've never seen something like this before. This is really cool. It kind of shows you you know, where the stock is so you can try to have a balanced portfolio. And again, this is great for someone who you're just getting started. You really don't know what to invest in. This kind of walks you through it. It'll tell you like, hey, your, you know, your uh, portfolio is a little too overvalued or it's undervalued or maybe you need more value stocks, whatever. Like you can really go for whatever kind of balance you want. You don't need to do all that heavy lifting or all that research. You're just kind of laid out here. So let's kick on uh, Facebook. I wholeheartedly believe Facebook will be one of the biggest, will be the biggest company in the world one day. Give it like another five years. Um, you heard it here first. But okay, this is what's really neat about this site. When you go through it, <clears throat> it kind of gives you a whole breakdown of the company. So say you want to invest in Facebook, but you're not too sure about it. Well, if you just click on it, it kind of gives you this whole summary of the company. So here's the executive summary exactly what it does, uh, what it is, it's an, uh, you know, all of its analysis, how it checks out. So obviously it's not a value stock. It's not a dividend paying stock because it doesn't pay dividends. Um, and it just kind of goes through everything. I don't know exactly what these check marks are or their criteria, but um, it, it obviously had a great past performance and it has great financial health. And on top of that, actually what we could do is we could click on it and it'll go to it. Your financial, oh, it drops down. Okay. To number six, you see that? So let's not skip ahead. Let's go back to executive summary. And if we scroll down, we got share price and news. Okay. This just kind of shows you where the share price was, how it's been going. Uh, it looks like we go all the way back to max. Yeah. Look at that. It brings all the way back to 2012 when it IPO'd. 
right? So this is just some basic summary of the actual stock price. Uh, some char simple charting software. They're not going to try to confuse you. Whoops. They're not going to try to confuse you with, um, with candlesticks or anything. Um, but let's see, what are these? All right, it looks like down here is just when news is coming out. So, oh, why did this massive drop happen? You can see right here, you had some legal issues, you had expansion. That's pretty cool how it walks you through all of that. Okay, let's keep on going down. You got your market performance, C2.2, we're still in share price and news. Shows you the performance, one year, seven days. Let's see where the industry is, how volatile it is. That's pretty cool. This is showing you the volatility or the beta. Now we're down to three, valuation. I think this is really cool. So this shows you where Facebook is right now. So you may think, all right, I want to invest in Facebook, but is it overvalued or undervalued? Right now, is this a good time to buy or should I wait? And again, if you're new, you may not know. Right here, it lays it out. Here's fair value. Here's what it is right now. It's a little undervalued. The market had a recent massive drop because we're coming up to the election while I'm recording this. So there's a lot of uncertainty right now. So the whole market is being pulled down, which makes me happy. And you can see right here, okay, it's undervalued. So Facebook might be a good buy right now. And if it's in the green, then it'd be a really good buy. So that's valuation. Let's keep going down. Okay, you got like a nice little thing it shows compared to the industry and the market and where the company is. So obviously it's PE ratio is high. That's expected with a big tech company. And it just kind of breaks everything down. Let's go into future growth. All right. And I mean, we're not going to spend too much time on this, but you can just kind of see everything laid out here. I can make this an entire video just going over the reports of it, but I don't want to spend too much time on this because we have other tabs in this awesome website. So that's, you know, this is just pretty much everything with it. Okay. All right. But now we're going to jump into the next tab, which is discover. So this is probably some kind of news. Yeah, yeah, so buy the dip. I guess this is more of like education here. So let's click on buy the dip. What is this? Okay, this is cool. This is showing all the stocks that have dropped, all the stocks that you might want to buy the dip. Let's see if there's anything here that catches my eye, any company that I know. Let's see. No, so far, nothing. Pump, what is this, pump and dump? Um... No, I, I, I don't know any of these companies. So this is cool. I mean, I wouldn't know any of these companies, but now this is showing me, oh, okay, what if uh, Westrock, what, what if I want to invest in this? Let's see what's going on with it. And then it just brings you to the same report. Shows you like it's had a nice dip over the course of the past uh, you know, month, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. It's dropped down. It was at 40, what, 41. Now it's down to 37. So this is a good buy the dip opportunity. Um, let's go back to discover and that's just that, right? We got forecast high growth potential under. So again, if you don't know what you're doing yet, you're looking for stocks to invest in so far. I'm really liking this website. I think this website is really cool. How it lays it all out. Now let's go to portfolio. Here's my portfolio. I just plugged in the 14 companies that I'm invested in and look at this. It breaks it down nice and easily so you can see Okay, what are we looking at with all of my companies? What do we see here? You know, I am very strong on health, past growth, and future growth. Not the biggest with value stocks or dividend stocks. Uh, I'm more, you can see right here, okay, mine's more of a growth stock. But I always look for good financials, and a lot of these have some amazing financials. And financial health is what I mean by that. But yeah, I think this is really cool. How then you could look at an executive summary of your own portfolio. So I could see, okay, my beta, it's a little bit more volatile than the market, 1.24. It's really not that bad. Shows you the past performance of uh, all of the different companies that you're invested in. Your breakdown with everything. Let's see your diversification across all of the different industries. Right now, my portfolio is overvalued, so I really haven't been buying much at the moment. So it shows what my fair value is. I think that's really cool. And this is just gonna be a wreck. All of it's gonna be super high right now. So a lot of my stocks are overextended, and I know that, uh, but I got lucky with a lot of them. Um, here we go, my, and then all of my return on equity and assets are pretty high. Uh, debt's not looking too pretty, but 
I'm, I'm confident in the companies I'm invested in, but this is really cool how portfolio breaks it all down like that. And now the very last part, we're going to look at this website's screener, which I think they did a great job with this. I know I use Finviz a lot for screening, but this is a great contender for $80 a month, uh, not a month. That'd be way too much. $80 a year. I think it's very worth it. Again, this is for someone who's just starting out. You may not know. Uh, and I mean, hey, for 80 bucks a month, you might as well just uh, I keep saying that 80 bucks a year. You might as well just uh, if you're interested and you are educated in the stock market, you might as well just buy it because it can be another great tool. They don't sponsor me or anything. Um, but look at this. So say you want to go by industry. We want to look at banks. You click on banks right now. We have 48,000 companies that we're looking through. Click on this. It's updating our results. Here's 1,815 companies that are banks. And again, this lovely little chart just kind of showing you exactly where the company lies. So say, I want to look for a dividend paying bank. Here's the Bank of China. It looks like it's a massive dividend paying bank. I mean, JP Morgan is also a good option. Great financial health and great paying dividends. Agriculture Bank of China. China really likes paying out dividends, it looks like. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Uh, again, China, well, dividends aren't the highest there. Bank of Nova Scotia, I think this one's been paying dividends for like 200 years, if I'm correct, for its dividend history. But again, same deal, it brings you back to this so you can analyze the stock. Let's go back to the screener, so we're not done with it. Say we wanna narrow our results. We only want companies in the US. Maybe we only want companies in the NASDAQ. Let's go to the NASDAQ uh, global sector. Global select, I mean. There, now we have 180 companies to choose from. And we can keep narrowing our results. We go here, say by market cap. We don't want anything under, you know, say $2 billion, right? 2,000 million is $2 billion. Hit done. Here's 36 companies to look through. How easy is that screener? This is a great site. I don't know why I'm just hearing this now, but that's, I'm going to leave it there. That is simply wall.street. You can check it out. There's a link in the description. If you like this video, you better smash that like button because I am providing all this great material for you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop any comments. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.